black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Okay, so it's about to be a beautiful evening outside, and I want to have a nice, fresh Greek salad, some skewers on a nice salad outside right now. It's just what I'm craving hard. And I want you all to come along with me. So we're gonna cut these breastuses down, marinate them, get them on some skewers, let them sit for a while. It's about five o'clock. I'll eat this at like 7.30 when the sun's kind of setting at dusk. This is my favorite patio time to eat. But yeah, let's break these down into some strips to where we get almost like cubes to go ahead and put on the skewers is we're gonna barbecue them up, get that nice barbecue flavor on them. But we definitely need uniform pieces of chicken in order to do that. So we gotta break these down. So now that we got that kind of sorted, just going for like one inches. Definitely not what she wants. <laughs> chunk, 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 you know the drill. All right, chunks of chicken into the bowl. Time to marinate this up real quick. First things first, some oil of your choosing. I'm always hitting canola. Next, we got lemon. And then we're going in with all the herbs. We got oregano, heavy on the oregano. We got parsley flakes. We got some basil leaves. We got some dill. Heavy amount of onion powder. Nice, fresh garlic. All right, once it's nice and coated like this, as you can see, we're gonna go ahead and get these on the skewers and then let them sit for a while just to really work it all in. All right, we're just gonna let these skewers hang out on this guy for a while. So we got our nice big long wooden skewer. Come on in, bring the chicken, and we just start getting to skewing. Oh, we got wood peeling. I don't like that. I hate that shit. And we repeat the process. Just keep stacking. Keep on stacking, just like your money. That's what you wanna do. You wanna get your chicken like your money. All right, and there you have it. Four skewers done, two chicken breasts made up four. So that's nice. I didn't think I was gonna get that much, but there we go. All right, half a head right quick. Take it for a nice cold bath in the water, make it nice, let it crisp up in the fridge. Next up, cucumbers, half, wrapper, off, down, side by side, line them up real quick. Into your bowl. White, cherry tomatoes down. All finished. Set mandolin real nice and thin. See if she fits, and she does. Nice thin onions. into your prep bowl real thin, just like that. Every good Greek salad needs feta cheese. Break it down into your bowl. Break a chunk off and then crumble. Broken down feta crumble, ready to go. All right, pull out your fair share, as many as you desire. Grab your little bowl here and get to pulling pits. Gotta do, pop them out, tear in half, pop it out. Tear in half, tear in pieces. I don't care that they don't look beautiful. They're gonna taste beautiful still amongst the salad. I'd rather have a weird looking piece of olive and a broken tooth, you know, or choke. All right, so here we have it, the mise en place. Everything we're gonna need to put together this beautiful salad once these chicken skewers are ready to go. I'm very excited. All right, y'all, we got the broil king cranked up to tree fitty. So we're gonna go ahead and get these skewers on. And let me tell y'all, if these aren't smelling good, I don't know what does. These smell amazing right now. I'm so ready, so excited. I 
And shout out to anybody who knows the reference of Tree Fitty. <laughs> All right, moment of truth. Here we go. Looking amazing. These guys are definitely at the point, I believe, that they're cooked through. Nice. Got some nice char, some nice golden on there. And what do they say about meat on a stick? Meat always tastes better on a stick. So, got a plate here. Pull these off. Let them start to rest real quick. Hot, 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 hot. Develop those chef hands. But there you are, some nice, beautiful skewies. Off the side they go. And we're just gonna quickly flash a nice garlic naan over the flames real quick. This guy can join its teammates over here. Let's go build the salad and come eat outside. All right, first things first, we gotta dress some nice cold washed lettuce. Probably only gonna use maybe half of this bowl, I believe. I definitely had too much in the beginning. Right here, here's a ticket, you guys. Renee's Greek Feta, creamy Greek Feta. It is amazing. All right, so we pre-dressed just the lettuce right off top. That way we get even distribution the right amount of dressing that we want for every single bite and I like it quite creamy quite dressing -y. all right next up we bring in the platter we lay our beautiful amount of lettuce and dressing on said platter into oval shape and from here, it's just as simple as topping with your things. So we sprinkle out some nice thin mandolin red onion. Purposefully across the whole salad. All right. Lay out our cherry tomatoes. A little bit in every bite. All across and around. Tomatoes for everybody. We got our cukes coming in nice and cold. Love me a nice cuke in the summertime. It's not summer yet quite, but it's a nice night. <laughs> our pitted and peeled Kalamata olives, even spread, equal spread. Gotta do it. everywhere and all over the olives do make the greek salad in my opinion that and the feta which subsequently is up next so nice even drizzle of the crumble across the whole show and last but not least a couple skewers all right now Call it blasphemy or whatever, I don't know what it is, but I'm doing a chicken layout. I'm gonna keep a few on the skewer on the side, but I'm also gonna just pull each individual barbecued piece off of a couple of them and lay them out beautifully, professionally all over this. So we have chicken on a per bite basis. And that right there, my friends, is a beautiful, banging, huge platter of Greek salad. I'm so hungry, I'm so ready for it. Please meet me outside. Howdy there, how are ya? I don't know how to say hi in Greek. Somebody let me know down below. I don't know if you know, but if you do know, let me know. <laughs> okay, it's true, you saw it coming together. A beautiful Greek salad, I'm about to smash the most delicious Greek salad I may have ever made in my life to my face right now with you outside. The neighbors are happening. It's popping, it's beautiful. And I'm ready because this has been on my crave for quite some time now. So I'm excited, I'm ready. We got our bread here, uh, non-bread garlic. And uh, I'm just ready to get a legitimate bite of this beautiful salad. So I'm going, I got cucumber, I got feta, I got an onion here. We're gonna get, make sure, for sure, we're gonna get an onion. We're gonna get a piece of chicken. 
Come on. And an olive. And that right there is the perfect bite. Everything in one. Oh my God. Absolutely legendary. Such a perfect. Nice evening meal and I'm standing the creamy dressing sometimes a Greek salad is amazing with the oil and vinegar but sometimes you just need that creamy Greek to really make it do what it do. Is that a faux pas? I say no. I say it's complimentary. In all the right ways. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. Said it once, I'll say it again. When you make a good salad, it's way up there. as a top food experience. The texture and flavor complexities. I just, They just work in perfect harmony. Mm.
just in the zone. How do y'all feel about a salad as your whole meal? Because this is definitely a whole meal, but something like this get too repetitive for you do you need more different things going on or can you be content with just a whole ass salad let me know We've locked out so far. No, no flight path quite yet. We'll see. One thing I know for sure, now that I know that it's grilling season, I definitely got to make homemade, like really replica it. I got to make homemade Whoppers because you guys know it's like my favorite burger. And I've yet, yet to do it. I've never done it. Feel as if I should almost aggressive. Now that the finally, like two years later, the impossible whopper has finally made it to Canada. And I've never tried it. I feel like I should like make homemade Whoppers and then go and get a regular Whopper and an Impossible and eat. My homemade extra on side. Uh, my homemade against the regular against the impossible. And as you'll see, this is why I live in where I live. It's so garbage. Because how long ago did everywhere else have the Impossible Whopper? Like, we just got it. I want to say in the past month. I feel like it's been out forever. We're just getting it now. So late to the party. These skewers, that marinade that I made with all those different 
herbs and that the garlic and lemon oh, came out so unbelievably good on the barbecue they smelled incredible to the point like my neighbor was like uh home improvement the wilson he was like wilsoning my my fans and if he had asked i would have gave him a skewer because i have one extra downstairs and this is going to be plenty enough for me However, that is definitely a good thing about chicken skewers is that. They keep and make a great leftover for tomorrow. Also just a perfect simple like if you if you like cruising throughout the day and you just need like a quick snack and you just have a chicken skewer sitting there low cow nice quick fix Perfect on the move. This is where I need a spoon. Maybe a bigger fork would help. This is a baby fork. That's where it gets good though. All the all the extra creamy bottom dressing with all the flavor. Mmm. I love when salad becomes slurpy. All the feta cheese bits. Extra wet and creamy. He said it. This is like the only fans part of the salad. You know? Did you think I was going to do it? Did you think I had the whole platter in me? In the beginning, I wasn't certain. I would make it, but we trekked on. We waged war against the dollar store oval platter and we came out victorious. Okay, we'll just take your bread and drag it through the dressing. Why not? Why not? All right. That was phenomenal. It doesn't get much better than that, man. Simple meals, timeless classics. Everything works. Beautifully constructed. In this atmosphere? Come on. Couldn't be better. All right, until the next one, you know what to do, eat good, live well, stay true.